excuses, ladies. This is Eva Eckert, and I am your host. Welcome to the show every Wednesday. Today, episode number 29. Can you imagine episode number 29? So what is the No Excuses Ladies all, all about? The No Excuses Ladies weekly show is for all of you ladies out there who have been struggling with making too many excuses and find themselves being unhappy and unsuccessful in life. This weekly show will teach you how to apply the no excuses mindset in all areas of your life with the foundation of health and, and wellness so you can succeed in life, move the needle forward with the necessary tools provided by me. No Excuses Tribe is welcoming all the badass ladies out there and those of you who would like to become a badass in real life, because I believe that all of you have the foundation. I believe that all of us have the foundation. So I'm here to help you, guide you, support you, lead you to your full potential. I will teach you the power of self-belief, self-motivation, discipline, mastermind alliance, so you can stop making the excuses and create the life that you truly desire and deserve by being the best version of you. So welcome. Thank you for joining me. I always appreciate the fact that you coming on board every week, spending the time, giving me the time. So grab a pen and paper, bust out your journals, whatever there is, take some notes, because as I always remind you, you take the information, you absorb the information, and your, your mind creates so many good things. So it's the best if you write them down, make some points so you don't forget them. At least that's what happens to me. And I always wanted to make sure that I will never forget what I'm really having in my mind, right? So uh, my friends, every every week uh, we do a quick recap from the previous episodes. So what we have been talking about last week, the last week we were talking about the setbacks that can pave your road to success. I hope that you watched episodes. I know that so many of you did actually made some amazing comments. And thank you so much for participation. I was talking about uh, Ivanka, amazing, amazing horseback ride and how a, a situation really created a road to success to her. And, and that's a perfect example of how you can live your life because I know that all of us, have situations like this, right? So what's today's topic? What's today's topic? How solitude is important in your well-being, creativity, problem solving, and more. It all leads to one outcome. Think about it. It's becoming more successful and making no excuses because that's what we promote here on this channel. We're promoting the no excuses lifestyle, right? Because if you stop the excuses, if you stop them and go forward, I'm sure that your life will change and you're going to become successful in mind, body, and I believe in business. So we're going to be talking about the 6P formula, how proper, how, how proper prior planning prevents poor performance and more. So stay tuned. I really would love to hear from you. First of all, I wanted to ask you, what has been Instagram? Because I'm on different social media. So what has been your biggest success? You might have plenty and many, and I would love to hear from you. Now, what has been your biggest struggle? All of us have something I believe that we have a hard time going forward with. So what has been your biggest struggle? Also, make comments. I would love to hear from you. Now, have you ever wondered or even put a thought into really solitude? What, what really solitude? I'm not saying just being alone because human beings are not there to be alone. We are we are creatures that love other you know other people. We would love to be surrounded by people. But what I'm talking about solitude is more like time for you to think and reflect. And that's what we always talk about these episodes here. But what I'm leading with is having time for yourself designated time that happens every single day on the schedule and why it's important because in today's very busy world 
that there is a lot of distractions. Like, think about it, how many distractions we have in today's world. There is social media. Uh, you know, there's just so much that we, a lot of time, becomes overwhelmed. And this actually, today's topic was spiral, but some of my clients, and I thought it's so important to put this out there. Of course, as you always see me, I drink my water and I want you to do the same. Make sure you're staying hydrated. So uh, it, it, what, what happens is when you are becoming distracted, you become unorganized, then you start multitasking, that you, you are scattered all over the place. And what happens is like you look at the day at the end of the day and you like wonder, what have I really accomplished? What have I done? There's not significant things that move the needle. And the show is all about belief. Remember, belief that every single one of you is amazing. Every single one of you can achieve amazing things. But there are tools to this. And if you do not have the tools, if you don't know what to do, it's going to be hard for you to go to the next level. That's why, based on my experience, what I have done, I teach you what has worked for me. Would this work for you? I hope it will. But you also can twitch the information based on what will work directly to you. So talking about the solitude, where is the best time for spending time in quiet time so your brain has time to think? And let me tell you, I used to never have times like this, but for, a, I would say, a few years right now, we start our day. If you watched my previous episodes, you know that I start my day. I have my meditation. I have my really habits that I follow. I drink my herbal life shakes. I do these certain things that are very repetitive, very habitual, but I learned these, right? So I spent at least half an hour with the time alone when I think. And your brain needs this. The quiet time, guys, what's going to happen is when, when you create the quiet time for you, your body will can go, your brain can go into directional thinking on undirectional, meaning you can sit down and think about the problem. And let me tell you, I guarantee you, when you guys going to do this, it happened to me so many times. In a quiet time, Based on your choice, it is in the morning or in the evening, maybe the in the morning, the morning time will work for you. You can direct your thinking, think about the problem. Think, how can I resolve this? What is, maybe you will need to write it down. What are the things that I can help myself resolve in this problem? And you direct your thoughts to it, okay? Now, can be more of a not directional, meaning like you let the brain to pick the subject when you just go maybe into your uh, moment of relaxation and thinking, okay, what is that that I need to improve in my life? That that maybe will help me to lose the weight or maybe you want to open up the business. Remember, there are different subjects. Each person will have something different to think about it, but the idea is the same. And let me tell you, when, when you concentrate on you, on your own thoughts, you become more clear. And what is clarity in your, in, your, in your life? There is movement forward because, because people, because of the outside world, they're so chaotic and it's so much information out there. You take, 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 take everything in and this poor brain of yours does not know which direction to go, who to listen, where to turn, what to eat, what vacation to take, you don't even know anything. Remember, this topic was based on um, training, coaching my clients. So if you have similar experiences, please write this down because this is amazing when you guys share this and and it's it's I want to hear from you because that's what we've had when we go over the coaching and when I ask them the question or I take someone from the real world, we all live in the real world and we start dissecting these things and peeling the onion and discovering these things. That's what happens. Opinions, you being so occupied with everything that is going on that you live your life so fast 
because you respond to other people's agendas, you do other things that you do not have even time to think what's the most important thing for you. How do you can resolve certain problems for yourself? What is what is really significant and exactly the most important for you? So that's why this solitude time is so important. And we I've been doing this for quite some time. And let me tell you, I absolutely love it. And and this is the morning time for me when my brain recovers. Now, your brain, always drink the water. Remember, when you talk a lot, especially when you talk a lot, you have to do that. Remember, your brain needs, needs the food, right? We take the nutrition. But the best food for your brain is recovery also. So that's why we go to sleep, right? But the brain will recover when you give a time fully to recover, meaning <clears throat> taking your time to think without any distraction. So I want you to think today, when would be the best time for you to do that? When would be the best time? Would this be in the morning? Would this be in the afternoon at nighttime? When would be the best time for you to sit down and think and think? Maybe you want to write things down. So... <clears throat> As, as I mentioned to you, there is directional, indirectional thinking. I also do the meditation, which you guys know about it. If you, uh, uh, the application that I use is Headspace and our family is using, and there are different subjects that you can choose. And this is only 10 minutes. Now, what else this time of thinking will cause you? What I, I used to never was at that high level to think about it. Focus, because you're going to have a singular focus on one subject, for instance. Try it, guys, today. I'm telling you, it's going to change your life. So that one thing you're going to ask yourself, then it's going to and th th then the answer will come. Then the another thing will come. And that's how you're going to get the answers, bu building one after the, the other. Now, <clears throat> that's what my suggestion for you do, is to do. But what other things maybe, maybe... We should not do because we always think, OK, what is that that we should do? What is that? OK, staying, staying, having that quality time for your brain so you can become more creative, so you can develop the, uh, the solutions, things you should not do. I'm telling you this today. Do not open up your phone unless you're sending someone a gratitude message. Do not answer to any messages. And do not answer to your emails because then you become reactive. You start responding to other people's agendas. You start responding with what people want instead of what you can create. And that's the time. And that's the time in the morning. If you would designate a half an hour to think and thought, maybe this half an hour will be for something that you want to create. That's the time when you're going to move the needle forward because every day, you're going to do this for a certain amount of time. And out of nowhere, at the end of the month, you're going to build such an amazing content. So that's another thing what I suggest you to do. Now, uh, uh, this leads us pretty much to the, the 6P factor. The 6P factor, when I was mentioning it to you, pr a proper prior planning prevents poor performance, right? And today I'm going to give you... a. Uh, uh, an example. I'm going to give you a couple of examples. Uh, this morning, Ivanka, my daughter, was uh, searching for something. And then she said, yes, I'm supposed to have it ready today. Uh, <clears throat> and I said, well, why didn't you really get prepared? And what happened is it was kind of chaos in the morning because she was searching for this thing instead of being prepared. And that's what I asked her. Look, if you found this information yesterday or earlier, you should have been prepared. You should have been already going to sleep, not for yourself. You most likely will be late when you're supposed to go. Your heart rate goes up and all these things. And at the end, pretty much the outcome is usually poor performance. So think about it like how you were at school. Like think about these times that you were not prepared for your exams, right? When you did not study enough, that you not prepare yourself enough for these tasks. What else? What else? Like when you look at your life right now, do you do you plan or you just 
go with the day without planning. Like what we plan and how we plan. I mentioned this in my previous episodes as well. I plan my food. I plan the workouts. Not only the workouts, but the workout times. So I know what I'm going to be doing. I know what kind of workout I will be doing. Like today, we're going to be doing a workout later. It's already planned. We know it. what we're going to be covering. The time. So going to sleep, for me, is already knowing ahead. And the other thing is, with planning for me, and maybe this will also work for you, and I believe it will be, when you have tasks, to-do lists next day, write them down. So when you go to sleep, your body will work on them through the night. It's amazing how your brain can work. And sometimes it might be even a solution to something. When you get up and you're going to be like, wow, this is, this is it. This actually works. And I can apply this and I can do this. <clears throat> so try to do these things. Now, what about planning the food in general? When you go to work, do you plan to take the food with you? Or you just, again, running the last moment or you are occupied at work and you ended up not eating. That creates poor performance. Not eating will create gaining weight. Not eating will create low energy. So look, one thing, one wrong decision will spiral all these things. It's like a step of different things that goes right after, right? And that's why you need to be so self-aware and plan. Now, Think about, I don't know, vacations that you have planned, right? Vacations that you planned. Like if you add certain things to your vacations, maybe excursions, it will save you time, right? It will save you time. So overall, the experience of the vacation will be amazing, right? Now, Tyson, my son, this is another cool thing. Like he does the pre-workouts and I actually grabbed this with me so I can show you guys. So he does the powders, he prepares the powders for the whole week, right? He puts them inside this little cupful and it's really cool. It comes from Herbalife. If you guys need the link, let me know because we use the products, obviously. And this is a little funnel. When you put the pre-workout in, because we do different concoction, you close them and when you're ready, you open the top and you dump it right into your bottle. Now you can take this to work, you can take this to your gym, wherever you go. So this is handy. So him planning for this thing gives them gives us an advantage to be quick and ready to go before the workout. Look how amazing. Those little things, those little habits can change your life forever. So remember the 6P. Proper trial planning prevents poor performance. This has been a well-known factor for all these years. And for those of you who just listened to this the first time, think about it. The 6P formula is so easy to remember. Now, did you know that every minute, now listen to this, that every minute you spend in planning saves as many as 10 times in execution. So think about it. If you spend 10 minutes or 12 minutes in the morning, it will, sp- will save you about two hours in your day. And that's that's when the common problem starts for so many people. People say, I don't have time. Maybe you are a person that will say, you know, I don't have time. I'm too busy. You are too busy doing too many things, maybe two wrong things, and you are scattered all over the place. If you have designated plan uh, hour by hour, I guarantee you it's going to change. So how about getting up in the morning and planning it, starting tomorrow, unless you want to do this today. That's fine in the evening. Again, what works for you might not necessarily work for me, but the foundation is is, is the foundation is so important. Uh, yes, time is of the essence. I love it. Yes, some of you are commenting. So keep that in mind. And I have to tell you guys, uh, the, the morning is so uh, really organized that when I looked at my calendar and I plan hour by hour, I know how much time I have designate, designated for certain things. So I, 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 I keep that track. And I go from one thing to the, the, the next thing. Today, I was able to accomplish so many things because I was keeping the schedule. But most importantly, because in the morning, I also took the time to see what was the most important thing for me. What was the most important thing for me? And that led me to look. When you have a list, this is another cool stuff that all the influencers, high performance do that. 
the 80-20 formula. If you've never heard about this, I really strongly suggest you to do this. Again, try it. Because if you absorb the information, you take notes, and so many of you take notes, but then you don't implement. Implementation is the key. I used to be take notes and try not to implement. Now I just literally concentrate on implementation. Why? Because implementation was the hardest for me. Maybe it's for you. I'm not sure, but if it is, do it today. So 80-20 formula, uh, you know, it came from, it's called the Pareto Principle. It's very interesting. It was uh, designed by the Italian economist, Vilfredo uh, Paletto. And, and, and he says that the 20% of your activity will account for 80% of your results. So think about it. If you have a list, and that's what I've realized in my life, I would make a list. And I will be like, there's like 10 different things on it, okay? This, this, this. And I start thinking that two of these activities, two, literally, will bring me more money, more outcome, more everything out of the rest eight. For instance, like think about it. You might have a list of 10. Maybe mark down which number is the most important for you. Because this will realize you, like, really ask yourself a question. Is this important? How, what's the progress here? When is going to lead me? Do I need to do this every day? You know, what's the outcome? That Those are very important things. And I guarantee you're going to realize that there are so many things on that list that's not even worth your attention. Because that's what happened to me. So <clears throat> do this. Do this and remember this. That 20% of your activity will account for 80% of your results. And doing this over and over again will lead you amazing leap. That's what happens to us. It's amazing how the life has changed, but we have been applying a lot of things as I see you guys joining. So make sure that you guys are watching this from the beginning because this is very a lot of valuable information. And that's what leads, leads also the tasks, you know. Um, of ta the tasks versus importance. Like, I will not start in the morning on important things. I will concentrate on the most important thing. And I had a task in my calendar for a long time. And then I realized that this task right now, it was always designated half an hour from 6.30 a.m. to 7 a.m. Right, kids, before they, they wake up and, you know, I have to wake them up. I realized that I have to change this to something else. And I took that off. I will go back to this button that not right now. It, time of the essence it should not be going into this. It's going into something else that has a, a, a time schedule. You know, we need to complete certain things by certain times. And again, this is all for you. So if you are struggling with maybe your fitness performance, getting into the gym, working out, planning your meals, eating healthy, getting up in the morning and looking at this and seeing what you can do to improve that. It's crucial. And I guarantee that your life will change. So I challenge you today, start planning your daily solitude. Please give your brain a little time to think. Because I see this so often when I coach my clients uh, people are overwhelmed, people are distracted, people are running around in circles. I call this tornado that you get into, you know, like, have you, you I'm sure you've seen tornado on all these crazy movies. We've seen them on YouTube channels. You being pulled in and taken out with all these furniture and this crazy faults and you just spin in a circle. Stop today, take your time, plan your day, give your brain a little good food of planning, recovery, and thinking what's most important. That's tuning into you. That's the best thing you can do because then the brain and the heart and you feel much better, right? Every single day do something towards your goal because a lot of times you see someone, maybe you haven't seen that person for a long time and out of nowhere you see them and you, and you think, oh my God, they look so amazing. They lost so much weight. And you think that they happened overnight. No, this planning, preparation, hard work, fasting their ass happened not overnight. It happened every single day. 
which means that this person was consistent, persistent, and had the durability to battle life. That this, that, you know, they didn't allow the little setbacks completely stop them from what they wanted to achieve. Stop, think, think, go, positive mindset, yes. That's what I want you to do. Now, your dreams cannot miss a day. They can't. There's no time for a break. You want to lose weight, you can lose weight. But you need to do those things every single day, just little by little. Don't overwhelm yourself with such a crazy amount of information. Do little by, by little. And only takes a few minutes of your day to put it on the calendar. Remember what I told you. 10 to 12 minutes will save you about two hours of your time. And this is amazing. Once you're going to start implementing this, it's going to change. And that's what I do with my clients. You know, we spend time on literally dissecting every single thing, like step by step. We just get on the phone, get on a Zoom call. I look at their schedule and we plan and we twist and we do this. But here comes the thing. One thing, implementation. Because I might spend 10 hours on you with you and, and if you're not going to do it, it's not going to get you from point A to point B and finally to point C. You're going to be going through these little steps and that's very important. Do not wing it. Another point, do not wing it. When we wing it, that means being unprepared, not knowing your stuff, and it doesn't give you a good outcome. If you wing it something, look, people have been weighing weight loss for a long time. Well, this gets them nowhere. You need to follow a plan. You need to be consistent, right? So today, I'm asking you, what can you apply from my message today? What was your wow effect? What was like that one point that you can take away? Because there is always something that you can take away from. And that's where I go. That's why I go live once a week, guys, to give you these points. The points for you to take it in and do it. Do it. Don't, don't, as we covered before, stop being so driven by other opinions of others. You know, we, we were going over this yesterday uh, about uh, even the herbal life nutrition. Some people tell you this, then you don't even know which direction to go. Believe what the coach tells you, follow instructor, instructions, but do it yourself. Because if you're going to try on your own, you are the person that creates the opinion, not really relying on opinions of others, right? So if you need, of course, help with anything, send a message today. You guys on Instagram, send a message on Instagram. On Facebook and on YouTube, you will have direct link to schedule a free call with me, free coaching call. It's available for about 20 minutes, and we can discuss the problems that you've had or the struggles, and then we can apply immediately uh, calls uh, for action. You know, those are certain steps that can be done. So anyway, let's talk. Let's connect. Remember, life is amazing. So create the life that you really desire and deserve today by being the best version of you and having no excuses mindset, guys. Thank you so much for joining. Thank you so much for your responses, participation, because that's when what's really moves the needle forward. I will talk to you later. Have a no excuses day.